Yes. Right. Uh, what's you know part of what's being terrific about being here at Forbes is the instead of the website and the print magazine uh, fighting against each other, they work seamlessly with each other. And, and the platform we've set up where we have a digital platform where four to 500 stories are being produced a day, uh, quick takes from industry experts and our staffers on what's going on in the world, and then they have these deep dives in print that then take on this, this other life online and actually the definitiveness of print strengthening the online brand, and then the currency of online that we're taking a lot of the wisdom and knowledge and putting that actually and using that uh, to help us uh, in print, both with uh, kind of kind of temperature taking uh, sidebars and also with just kind of telling us what people are interested in. It, it's proven a very very potent mix, and and again you know, the numbers bear that out. The web traffic is through the roof, uh, roughly doubling over the last couple of years, uh, 45 million uniques a month. Uh, and we've had 18 straight months uh, of newsstand growth and ad page growth. So, so the model's working, and, and hopefully it's a template for industry. Can you envision a day where there's no printed edition of Forbes? Uh, not in my lifetime, and uh, I think it's part, it's part of what's so great about magazines is that the tactile feel, the idea of curating curated content, and, and a staff that puts together from, you know, while the web is all about, you know, picking and choosing in, in, a, in, in a smorgasbord, what's still great about magazines is the curation, the idea that we're going to take well-researched, well-written, uh, definitive stories, package them with beautiful photography, and present them in a package that you can kind of lean back and, and, and enjoy the experience. It's, it's something I think that's in, kind of endemic to, to a curious human being.